Welcome to another episode of Cruising with the Clemens. My name's Mark, and today we are exploring Kansas City. So in this episode, we got to go through some maintenance issues with the truck and the RV. We also want to tell you exactly why, if you are a road school family, you must add Kansas City to your list of places to go with the kids. So be sure to stick around and check that out. And uh, yeah, let's go explore Kansas City. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. It's our 18th wedding anniversary. We are moving locations. Just what we wanted to move on a on an anniversary. And we were delayed by two hours. Two and a half. Two and a half. Well, just as we were getting ready to leave, one of the things we always do is we check our tire pressure. And so one of our tires was low. I pumped it up. Didn't think much of it because it was, you know, cold out this week. And lo and behold, Cooper's like, hey, I think we have a leak. And sure enough, you could see humidity bubbling out of our tire. So I am at the tire place to get the tire patch before we leave. Luckily, there was a Walmart right down the street from the campground. I can't even put in the uh, SpongeBob two hours later meme because it was two and a half hours to get my tire plugged. But it's plugged. But hey, we didn't have a blowout on the road. So that's all that matters. Yeah. So, all right, we are on our way to Kansas City, the Missouri side, um, to meet friends, explore the city because we've never been. Yeah. And all the oh, and just... Kennedy's just back there. Like, I'm mm -hmm. tired. I just want to go to my bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we Good got times. we got three hours, and then we'll be there. We have three Google hours three Google hours and I don't plan on stopping because of our, all of our delays. We were warned that everybody needed to go on a potty break before we got in the truck because he did not want to stop. So that's how it's going to be today. All right. So you just got done saying we would not stop. An hour into the drive, we stopped. Jen need an energy drink to stay awake. I wanted something to drink. Oh, Bryce got a piece of pizza. And we got this monstrosity to share. Gotta love gas stations. We were here a little late, but luckily they left our packet outside. So, um, for our campsite, so. We're like tired and done. So let's get to our campsite and get unpacked. We've made it to Higginsville, Missouri. It was a long day, but not because we had a long drive, but because we had um, a tire issue yeah. that we mentioned before. So that really delayed us. Yeah. We're at the Great Escape RV Park in Higgins, Missouri. So we're Higginsville. Higginsville. Yeah. We're about we're good at this. 45 minutes outside of Kansas City. Yeah. Um, but we have friends that are like not too far away 
In so, Knob Noster. Yeah, so that's why we're here where we are. So, um, And you can see the kitty is warming up on me, but we are done. We're all um, set up. Yeah. I think we had like these ideas that we were going to get in today. We were going to go have a nice dinner to celebrate our anniversary. <laughs> it's not happening. Not only that, but there's Dunzo. nothing near us at all. Yeah. So, another day. As you may have guessed, everybody was excited to be out of the truck. And Cooper decided to build a ramp for his new fingerboard. And what is he wearing on his head, you may ask? Well, he had a bit of a headache, so he is wearing an ice pack on his head. Andy, what are you making? I am making muffin tops. In the RV oven. In the RV oven. Do you think it's hard to, to use the RV oven? It is not hard. Sorry, this is, it is not hard to use the RV oven. No. It's hard to get this batter out of my hands. Yeah. <laughs> it is very sticky. Yeah, maybe that's not going to work like we thought. No. Okay, so how long have you been cooking, baking in the RV oven? I mean, ever since we got it, I really had to... So, like, so how many years is that? Three years, right? Okay. Yeah. And what's the biggest thing you can tell people? Because a lot of people say they um, can't use their oven. I would say the biggest thing is when I learned how to, like, kind of light it, the biggest thing is to hold in the gas for, like, a few seconds. That's your hardest thing? Yeah, because, like, if you don't do it, it's going to take you a lot of tries to light okay. the oven. So if you just, like, hold it in for five seconds, it'll work. Okay. So, I think the biggest thing about cooking in the RV oven is that you have to check your stuff more often. Um, and we have found that the best thing for us is that you need to rotate it halfway through to make sure. Because our oven does not cook evenly. No. Um, but rotating it halfway through seems to make it do fine. The thing that I have the hardest on cooking is biscuits. Um, yeah. They, like, I find that... They don't, that like, cook well. They don't cook well. They just... What I usually end up doing is not only do I rotate it, but then I end up flipping them over um, to get them to cook through better. But we cook cakes and cookies and bread, yeah. muffins, muffins, all kinds of stuff in there, biscuits, like all kinds of stuff. So it can be done. Um, yeah. All right, time for some dessert. Oh. Kenny made muffin tops. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody's waiting anxiously for dessert. It's so good. No. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I think we mentioned that we're in Kansas City. Yeah. And we're here for three reasons. One, it's on our way out west. Uh, it's Colorado. Two, uh, we've never been here before, so why not? Yeah. And three, we have some friends that we met on the road uh, exactly a year ago, and they live in the area, so we are visiting them this week. Um, and today is our first road schooling field trip of the week. Um, we're heading into the city and we're going to visit the Federal Reserve. So I made it through downtown. Um, the Federal Building has a visitor parking lot, which is awesome because trying to park the truck in a parking garage is not always ideal. So we're here at the Money Museum um, and we're going to head in and wait for our friends. Okay, we went through security, mm -hmm. which is similar to airport security or Definitely any not. federal building, yeah. except you don't have to take your shoes off. Um, we hit the bathrooms. There's literally no one here, so it's kind of awesome. Um, yeah, they have yeah. an app that you should download. And uh, we're waiting for our friends to arrive, and then we're going to go check everything out. What? One of the great things about the Money Museum is that it's free, and the kids learned a bunch, and there's even interactive displays of things for them to do. See him. Okay, who's going to go home and do one at a dollar? I don't want to waste it all. I think everyone's favorite part of this tour is the part that we couldn't actually film. And that's the vault, the money room where they're counting things, and the robots right, that are moving the money back and forth between places. No. Can you lift it? I need to work out. All right, come on. 
I, I don't see it moving hardly at all. Okay, next person. I can't get my hands in, so it's yeah, more All right, Lydia. Uh, well, that didn't move. Okay, Bryce, did you try? 27 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I right, go for it. The position of the hole to stick your arm through to try and lift the bar made it so much more difficult to try and lift it. Oh my goodness. All right, Bryce. I got a lot of pages. Like, I, I, like. I almost did all of them. Well, there's plastic all the way around it. She can barely lift it. Oh, Miss Brandy's the winner. With 12 different branches across the United States, I highly recommend that you stop in and take a tour of one in your area. There's so much to do in downtown Kansas City. Our next stop was lunch. The Plaza Food Court has a ton of options for lunch. But we decided to try Fritz's Express for a unique dining experience at the suggestion of our friend. You pick up a phone and order directly from the table, which the kids thought was great. And then the magic happens. That's right. That's a train that is coming around to each of the tables to deliver your order. Oh, oh that was close. Whose is that? <laughs> we almost got free food. Wait, that's Lydia's. No. Yeah, that's yours. No. Did you no. order this first? Okay, hold on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. The kids had a great time at Fritz's, and if you're in the area and you have little ones, I highly recommend that you check it out. Yeah. So that's probably the first one. Did you know that Hallmark's headquarters are in Kansas City, Missouri? This is stop number two on our free things to do. We toured the museum, watched the video, and they even gave the kids a scavenger hunt. In addition to that, there's several interactive displays, so it's definitely a must if you're in town. Okay. Mm, a little. <laughs> no. Thank you okay. for my Emmy's award. No, put it back. The hallmark. Ah! Okay, careful. Careful. I have fun. Okay. This is a bow making machine, and it was a huge hit with the kids. So right next door to the Hallmark Museum is Hallmark's Kaleidoscope, and it's a creativity center for kids. This was a great way to end the day, and like everything else on our tour today, it was free. One thing that we didn't make it to in uh, downtown Kansas City was their Science Center. And if you have an ASTC membership, it is free also to visit. So check it out if you're there. We've had some like particularly ugly weather here in um, outside of Kansas City for the last two days. Yeah. Um, and the kids, after we explored yesterday, we were supposed to go out to dinner and we were exhausted. So we're doing it today. But Mark has spent the whole day uh, maintenance. Yeah, I took the car to get an oil change and uh, to rotate the tires. And the oil change place I went to was closed even though they said they're open. So then I went to another one that said they could do the tire rotation. They did the oil change, could do the tire rotation. So then I went to a place to do the tire rotation and I had them look at our brakes and they were like, you need to replace your front brakes. So it turned into an all-day ordeal. But now we're going to reward him with what we've been told is the second best barbecue in the U.S. We had the best barbecue last week at Pappy's. So now we're going to go try this and compare them. So we're heading to Jack Stacks, 
um, just outside of the city. This is the fanciest looking barbecue place we've ever been to. Like it looks like Outback Steakhouse. Yeah, it's super fancy. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know. We're, he brought us all the different barbecues that all sound amazing. We're getting a sampler platter called the Taste of Kansas City. That's what we got, right? Yep. And uh, and then he's bringing us a sample of the baked beans because it's like in the fat drippings from the smoker. It's supposed to be out of this world. Really good. They were really good. They had little pieces of meat in it, and it was like barbecue beans. It was really good. Here's what their coleslaw looks like. <laughs> it's really good. It's very very sweet. Um, but it's tasty. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is our food. Okay, so final wrap up? Final wrap up. Jack Stacks. I mean, it is really good. It is really good. It's really good. It's, um, I don't know that I say that it's better or not as good as Pappy's. It's different. But the meat was all cooked to perfection. They had some really good sauce and the carrot cake. The the carrot cake is so good. I cannot tell you that is probably the best carrot cake I've ever had. Mm -hmm. It's rude to say one's better than the other. I agree. But Pappy's was better. <laughs> no, it's not. I like it was really good. Definitely like check it out. So we had a bit of a crisis happen this morning. We did. So a a And the kids' room looks... Well, like... the kids' room's a disaster because I've got everything pulled out and thrown all over the place. Alright, so tell us what happened. So Kennedy said she had a problem with her drawer. I come out, her drawer is like disconnected. So what happened is the rail, this is the part that the drawer would normally slide on. This part is part of a two piece system that is not supposed to come apart. Uh, but what happened is it did. So these, it's covered in like cat hair. Uh, <laughs> These parts go like right here on the top and bottom of it and that allows this section to slide a little bit and then there's another part in here that slides to extend the drawer out. So normally you would never see this black piece because it's inside another metal casing. Now what happened is uh, that casing has flexed because it's pretty, it's pretty thin metal. So I don't know if it was just, you know, just We've driving on the road and hitting bumps and stuff. But the metal's flexed, and that's caused this part to slide out. And so we need to replace the whole thing, because I, I could put it back together, potentially, but it's just, once it's warped, it's probably not going to go back right. So, um, but even this looks like there's a little flex in here that shouldn't be in here. So, yeah, I just, uh, I just contacted Grand Design to see if I could get replacement parts, because I looked on, like, Amazon and... I can't find the exact like match of these, but maybe I just don't understand how they work. So yeah, so right now I've got all the drawers out. The pro that was my she, finger. She put her hand right on that. <laughs> um, Sorry. So the problem with all the drawers out is that that space goes into the kitchen area outside. <laughs> oh, you're Out. I just hit my head. Whacked your head on that. Yeah. I moved it. So. So that hole right there leads to the outdoor kitchen. And the problem with that is that pancake will get under there. Our, our cat. cat. <laughs> uh, our cat will get under there and then there's no getting her back until she wants to come back. So, Which we have lost her back there when the kids have left a drawer out yeah. and she's scooted back in there. So it looks like I'm going to need a replacement rail. Um, if I can't get them from Grand Design, then I'll probably just order whatever I can find that's close to it, and then um, do the best we can. Fun times. Yeah. Not always sunshine and rainbows in RV life. Case in point, we are in Kansas City, or just outside of it. It has literally been raining for days. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's not even like super cold out, which is kind of a bummer, because we've had to run the air conditioner. 
Yeah, yeah um, we thought we were done with air conditioner. I know, so we're a little sad about that. I hate running the air conditioner, but um, we're kind of, I don't want to say cooped up in here, but everybody's kind of rotating through different places to do schoolwork or Mark to do work because he can't go outside. Um, but it's been okay because I took the kids and I was gone all day with our friends down into the city. Yesterday, Mark did maintenance stuff on the truck, so he was gone all day. Um, and working on the road and so today we're home but we're leaving this afternoon but yeah not always rainbow and sunshine sometimes it just pours the weather cleared up and it was time to head out to let the kids burn off some energy today we are meeting up with our friends and heading to a local gymnastics gym for their open homeschool like open gym play so yeah let's go check it out this was two hours of pure fun for the kids, and they got out a lot of energy. I've got to remember to look for more places like this when we visit different cities. Later that evening, we hung out with friends, had pizza, and then we got a special tour of Whiteman Air Force Base, which the kids really enjoyed and will never forget. All right, today we are visiting the um, historic Truman home. Uh, and we just went to the visitor center. We got signed up for our tour, which is free. And we watched our video, got our Junior Ranger books. So we are over here at the actual home getting ready for the tour. So let's check it out. You do have to sign up for a guided tour, which is really interesting. And unfortunately, you okay. can't take any photos or video inside the home. Our next stop was back to the visitor center so we could finish up our junior ranger books. While in the town of Independence, we went to go check out a local spot, Up Dog, for lunch. They specialize in hot dogs, chili dogs, and chicken for lunch. These are yummies. Oh, hot. Oh, wow. It is. All right, Bryce, what's yours look like? Looks good. It smells really good. We met up with friends one last time before leaving the next day. All right, so quick update on the kids' drawers. I'd film in there, but they all told me I can't film in there because their room's so messy. So Kennedy's drawer was the one with the problem with the, the missing ball bearings. But I did have two strips of ball bearings for her, her drawer. And what I ended up doing was just putting one of the black strips on the bottom of one side and one on the other side. So the top would normally have another set of ball bearings. Uh, so you'd have four strips in all, but I only have two. So I put them on the bottom because that's where all the weight is. And then I kind of bent the rails a little bit on the top so that it wouldn't just fall out of place. And so far, that's been good. We've traveled a couple hundred miles with it. It has not come apart again. So for now it's sort of fixed, but I'd really like to just buy the rails from Grand Design. I just have been lazy and haven't gotten back to them. So that's the update with the drawers. Awesome. <laughs> no. I'm putting on the big boy socks. Ooh, so we know it's really cold. If you're new, you know it's really cold when Mark puts socks on. Yeah, he but not just any socks. These are the, the thick ones. <laughs> so. He's got a beanie on. I know, it seems stupid. Um, it is 34 degrees outside and we have to move today, which means I have to go do all the outside stuff. Yeah. They're calling for snow and rain today. We have a long drive. It's going to be awesome, guys. No, it isn't. All right. I think you probably should go uh, open all the blinds so we can get started with our inside stuff. Join us next week as we make our way towards Colorado down I-70 and we show you what some really nasty and dangerous weather looks like.